All right, here we are at 582 Deer Run Road. Just to give you a look at the front yard. A lot of mature trees in the front yard, as you can see, offering a lot of shade. Just to give you a look at the neighborhood. This neighborhood is just down the road, as I'm sure you saw on the map from River Trace, where the one on Acorn Drive was. This neighborhood is quite similar to River Trace in a lot of ways. This is a one level home with a bonus room up the stairs. Before we go inside, we will take a quick look around the home. So obviously the driveway comes up here to a side entry garage. You do have the extended pad here. They use it for boat parking. You could use it for RV parking. And then there is the detached garage there in the back. It could be used as a garage or a workshop. They have a poured path into the backyard, which yes, is fenced. So there is a little pop up of the driveway here with some cracking, whether or not from settling or roots. Um, it's definitely, again, driveway could use a little help right along here. Again, this looks like some settling issues over time, but just to make sure that you see it all. Go back here. We'll peek inside here for you. So they've made this into kind of a man cave, as you can see. It is electric door, has the lift master there. Concrete floor still. And they've made it into a bar here fridge and sink back there. And then here's the workshop part of it. There's another door there. So quite a large outbuilding here. Oh, and a TV built into the wall there. Very nice. So great extra space here for sure. All right. Let's head on into the house. There's the door coming out of the garage to the yard, just to note that. All right, so walking on up to the front yard, You have a nice big front porch, brick steps leading up to a wood front porch. They have the swing there. You can have space for some rocking chairs or other chairs. This is covered, so we are out of the rain, which it is currently, as you probably noticed, raining. Walking inside. into bedrooms or down that way. They've put a barn door here because they've kind of made the dining room. It looks like this family has just outgrown their space in all honesty. They've made their dining room into a bedroom for a child. So they've put this barn door here, but that 
could be easily removed and just the holes patched. So this would be technically the dining room, but again, right now being used as a bedroom. Going back to the front door. Sorry, I think it's some rain or something on my camera. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to dry off the camera a little bit there. So coming in, we have the living room here. It's a very tall fireplace. They have their TV up there currently, but. Fireplace here, tile surround, gas logs, and then the mantle goes up. Obviously you have the vaulted ceiling to make the room Feel much bigger. Kitchen here. This is tile when we go into the kitchen area. We have an eat-in area here as well. With a nice big window looking out to the backyard. So kitchen, you have a wood countertop. White cabinets, a mix of black stainless appliances. You do have the tile backsplash. Typically, your dishwasher would be there but they made it into a cabinet. So if you wanted a dishwasher, you would need to add the dishwasher back in there. So again, looking out. And again, that goes back to that dining room. This is where you would come in from the garage. You would enter now, here is the two-car garage, closet over there for some extra storage. Now they have the washer and dryer in the garage. And I will show you why when we get into the master bedroom. You could convert it back to the way it was actually built if you do not want the washer and dryer in the garage, but they moved it into here to make a bigger master closet. I'll show you all that when we get into the master. All right, so walking back into the house. This is where you would come when you pull your car inside and then you would walk right into the kitchen area here. But first, since we're on this side of the house, sorry, I'm kind of showing it to you backwards. We're gonna go up to the frog. Let's get some lights on up here, there we go. So again, like I said, it seems like a family that's just outgrown their house. The frog is carpeted, definitely would need new carpet. Has quite a bit of staining on the carpet, but good sized frog, high ceilings for a frog, which is great. And you have a full bathroom up here. Little only um, in the bathroom up here. Obviously it's a small bathroom, but it is a full bathroom. Shower here in the corner. Toilet and the single sink. So again, that is the finished room over the garage. Heading back down the stairs. Again, you'd come in from the garage there. And just note they do have a pet door at one point in the garage door. Now, if you walked in, the master is straight across. So that's where we will head next. Big sliding doors out to the backyard. We'll go there in a minute. The master is also carpeted. Probably could use some replacement as well. So here is the master closet. And traditionally it ended right here. However, they made the laundry room, which is this room. You can 
can see there's the washing machine hookup right there. They put a hole in the wall here and made it into an extended master closet. That would be the door from the hallway on the other side that would where you would typically enter the laundry room. And I'll show you that in a minute. So it wouldn't take much to convert it back to a laundry room if you did not want your washer dryer in the garage. But then this would be the size of your master closet. So just some things to note there. All right. So here is the master bedroom, has the high vaulted ceiling as well. Does have entry to the back porch from the master bedroom, window looking out to the backyard. They have a ginormous TV up there. Master bathroom is tiled. There is a jetted tub here with an electric fireplace. They also, there's a lot of TVs in this house. <laughs> they also have a TV here. They have the double sink vanity. Toilet is back here. Tiled walk-in shower is here. This is a pocket door to close it off. You do have, just so you can see, the two doors that close the master off from the rest of the house. All right. Setting back into the living room back toward the front door. If we made a left when we walked into the front door, we would come this way. Now this looks like it was a closet at one point, but they removed the doors and did a little area where their kids can take off and store their shoes. Coat closet here. Bedroom number one here. Another TV. There's your closet. This bedroom looks out to the front yard. We walk out. Linen closet here. Here's the other bedroom. Also looking out to the front yard. The closet there. Now this door would be the entrance to the laundry room if that was still the laundry room. The flooring does change going into the bathroom. I don't know if it was tiled at one point, they changed it to LVP. You have stone countertop there. Shower tub combo. So you can see the whole bathroom. head to the backyard. All right, so backyard, you have a covered, long covered porch here. That's where you can enter the master bedroom. There's a ceiling fan out here on the porch. And then Backyard, as you can see, does not have a lot of grass, which is typical of our backyards where we have a lot of mature trees. To 
get the grass to grow, some of the trees would definitely have to be limbed if not taken down. It's just the price we pay to have nice big shade trees, I guess. Propane for the fireplace. We have an extra tank on standby. That's your backyard. So there you go, the home at 582 Deer Run Road.